here to make a significant announcement. I've registered as an Arizona independent. I know some people might be a little bit surprised by this, but actually I think it makes a lot of sense. You know, a growing number of Arizonans and people like me just don't feel like we fit neatly into one party's box or the other. And so, like many across the state and the nation, I've decided to leave. I want to talk about that calculating bitch, Kirsten Cinema, and how she is trying to maintain her power by screwing over the Democrats. That partisan process and really just focus on the work that I think matters to Arizona and to our country, which is solving problems and getting things done. I don't care what she says, this is pure political calculus. She's always been this person. She started off as a green and tried to get Ralph Nader elected. Got him just enough votes in Florida to screw Al Gore over and give us George W. Bush and three wars. Then she wanted to get elected herself, but you can't really get elected as a green, she had learned in the Ralph Nader campaign. So she ran as a Democrat and now she's there and surprise, surprise, now she wants to be an independent. Pure political calculus. And I think it's important for folks across my state and, and frankly across the country to say, yep, yeah, there's, someone, there's someone that's kind of like me. Doesn't fit neatly into one box or the other. As for her committees, she damn sure better make it publicly known that she's caucusing with the Democrats. Because if she screws us out of the 5149, we're gonna destroy that bitch in the next election. The balance of power right now is 51 Democrats, or 51 votes for the Democratic Party. That includes two independents, Angus King of Maine and Bernie Sanders of Vermont. But that's 51, 49. What you're doing today doesn't change that. It's still basically gonna be 51, 49. Well, I know you have to ask that question, Jake. Yeah. But that's kind of a DC thing to worry about. A DC thing to ask. What a bunch of crap. She knows very well that it matters for everything. The senatorial rules, the committees, everything. Who controls subpoenas? Who gets to pick judges? Who gets to confirm Biden's uh, uh, appointees? Who still haven't been confirmed after two years? Still come to work and hopefully serve on uh, the same committees I've been serving on and continue to work well with my colleagues of both political parties. And I'm not really spending much time worrying about what the mechanics look like for Washington, D.C. Well, in D.C., the count does matter. She knows that. She's gaslighting. Hmm. She'd make a pretty good Republican. And to be honest, Jake, I don't think anyone in Arizona is caring about that either. You better worry, bitch, if you want to keep your committees. The reality is, is that when we get up in the morning, we don't really think about partisanship. Oh, she damn sure does. This bitch is hedging her bets. After seeing the election in Arizona, she's realized that, oh, yeah, that's right. I have to get reelected in two years. I wonder what I could do to make sure that happens. Because she's no Democrat. She never was. And so they're not thinking about who's winning and who's losing. But that's what the parties are thinking about, is how do we get one over on this guy? How do we, you know, ensure that we're punishing them? How do we continue to win and what I'm really focused on and I think the proof is in the pudding of the work I've done in the Senate I'm really focused on getting results like getting things done oh please how many times did she destroy any chance of legislation like for instance codifying abortion or for that matter election reform I also think it'll provide a place of belonging for many folks across the state and the country. You know, I, I, I just not worried about folks who may not like this approach. What I am worried about is continuing to do what's right for my state. It's okay if some people aren't comfortable with that approach. No, she's not removing herself from the partisan structure. If anything, she's confirming that she is an absolute partisan and is placing herself in a position to be the new Joe Manchin of this Senate. She likes having the power to get to dictate what bills go and what bills don't. By doing this, she thinks she'll get to be able to continue. Quite frankly, if she doesn't, 
she's liable to join the Republicans. Because she's going to need their money in the next election. She damn sure won't have Democratic money. She talks about her state. Well, let's talk about her state. The people of Arizona, in a statewide election, elected a Democratic senator. They assumed she would be a Democrat. They voted for her, thinking that she was going to caucus with the Democrats. They voted for a Democrat, not for an independent. This is pure political calculus. Callous calculation. And that's who she is. That's who she's always been. I'm telling you, she'd make a pretty good Republican. And that should worry the hell out of us. This whole thing's about keeping her power as the Senate's switch hitter. It's pathetic, it's predictable, and quite frankly, like Thomas Jefferson once said, if there's a job that we can't fill with a Democrat, we should abolish the job. I'm Zachariah, Lone Star Liberal. Y'all take it easy. Looking for a stylish, comfortable shoe that looks great, fits your budget, and has no association with the most unhinged rapper who ever lived? Yay Less Shoes has you covered. At Yay Less, we have no affiliation with Kanye West or his white supremacist friends. These non bigoted boat shoes? Yay Less. These fit for a Jesus sandals? Yay Less. These Yeezys? We wouldn't be caught deaf country selling these anti Semitic banana peels. I love my Yay Less shoes. I can wear them on the treadmill, the street, and around normal people without looking like a horrible yay hole. I used to wear Yeezys, but then I switched to Yay Less. And boy, are my feet and my rabbi happy. Sporty yet sensible. It's the easiest, freeziest, un Yeeziest shoe store there is. You can't deny these savings or the Holocaust any longer. And recommended by, well, you know. It was a Jewish doctor. Oh, they, you got that right. Yay less shoes. Just do it. WNBA star Brittany Griner was released today from a Russian prison in exchange for an international arms dealer. It's the first time the U.S. has traded an alleged weed smoker for an international criminal since 2016. <laughs>